Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Honda Accord Touring, as well as take a quick look at the other 2019 Honda Accord configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're in the market for a new car, I wrote a killer article on my website about how to buy a new car for the lowest price. I put the link in the description below. No segment in the auto industry has seen more recent changes and updates than the midsize sedan class. Nearly every model has been refreshed or redesigned over the last year, including the Honda Accord. The 10th generation Accord debuted in 2018, and in my eyes, its healthy list of improvements and all-around excellence quickly vaulted it to the top of the class. The Accord stays the course for 2019. The only change is that the top trim Touring is no longer available with the base engine. The Accord's all-around excellence makes it hard to pinpoint just one thing that sets it apart from the rest. It has the practical stuff locked down. The trunk is positively huge, as is the cabin. Honda has the tech front covered, too. A considerable number of advanced safety features are standard, and every model except the base LX comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Accord also retains the fun-to-drive personality of the older models, especially when equipped with the larger engine and Touring-exclusive adaptive dampers. If you're in the market for a mid-sized sedan, there's no reason the Accord shouldn't be on your short list. The field is stacked with solid choices, but the 2019 Honda Accord offers the best mix of value, practicality, and personality. The 2019 Honda Accord is sold in five trim levels, LX, Sport, EX, EXL, and Touring. The LX is the most affordable model, but is still reasonably well equipped. The Sport doesn't cost much more and comes with some visual upgrades, while the EX and the EXL add more convenience features. The top trim Touring loads up with every feature that's available. A turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine that makes 192 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque is standard on all trim levels except the Touring. It comes connected to a continuously variable automatic transmission that they call the CVT that drives the front wheels. If you're looking for a little more excitement, a turbocharged 2-liter four-cylinder that makes 252 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque is available on Sport EXL and Touring models. A 10-speed traditional automatic is paired with this engine. A 6-speed manual transmission is a no-cost option on the Sport model regardless of engine selection. Standard features on the base LX model include 17-inch alloy wheels, LED exterior lighting, that includes the headlights, taillights, and running lights, automatic high beam control, push-button ignition, dual-zone automatic climate control, a height-adjustable driver's seat, Bluetooth, a 7-inch touchscreen, and a four-speaker audio system with a USB port. Standard driver aids include lane keep and assist, adaptive cruise control, and four collision warning with automatic emergency braking. Upgrading to the Sport adds 19-inch wheels, larger front brakes, LED fog lights, a rear spoiler, chrome exhaust tips, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, a power-adjustable driver's seat, a 60-40 split rear bench, cloth and simulated leather upholstery, an 8-inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, an 8-speaker audio system. CVT automatic equipped models also come with steering wheel-mounted paddle shifters. The EX builds off the LX model, adding the sport's interior upgrades, minus the unique, bo minus the unique upholstery and the shift paddles and the leather-wrapped steering wheel, uh, but it does get 17-inch wheels, heated mirrors, a sunroof, keyless entry and ignition, blind spot monitoring, heated front seats, rear air vents, an additional USB port, and satellite and HD radio. The EXL further adds an auto-dimming rearview mirror, a power-adjustable passenger seat, driver seat memory settings, leather upholstery, and a 10-speaker audio system. A navigation system is now optional when you have an EXL. Models with a turbocharged 2-liter engine are essentially the same as their 1.5-liter counterparts, but the Sport 2-liter turbo is equipped with the keyless entry, heated front seats, and blind spot monitoring. 
Models with the automatic transmission also come with shift paddles and are all equipped with the sport's larger front brakes and chrome exhaust tips. At the top of the ladder is the Touring trim, which includes 19-inch wheels, adaptive suspension dampers, chrome exterior trim, illuminated door handles, automatic wipers, front and rear parking sensors, adjustable driving modes, a heads-up display, ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, a navigation system, a Wi-Fi hotspot, and a wireless phone charger. The MSRP range for the 2019 Honda Accord, your base model LX starts at $23,720. The top of the line Touring model starts at $34,990. All right, let's jump into this review of the 2019 Honda Accord. Now, we've already looked at all the configurations. We looked at all the trim levels, right? The LX, the EX, the EXL, the Touring, the Sport. I really actually like the Sport. I think the Sport's really, really nice. What I don't like about the Sport is that you can't get leather. If you could get leather on the Sport, that would have been the one that I picked. I like the Touring because for essentially under $40,000, you're going to have a car that has every feature that, you know, the $70,000 sedan has, and I bet you it's going to drive just as nicely. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at all the features and everything and check some specs, and then we're going to do a build-in price of, our, uh, of the top-level touring trim. But before we do any of that, I want to quickly take a look at the exterior and the interior photos for the 2019 Honda Accord. So let's jump into that really fast. Now, we can see that underneath these photos, they have great information. The information is really, really good. Now, here's the deal. Sometimes I might read it, sometimes I won't, because when we start to look at the features, this information is going to be redundant. So really, what I want to do is just look at the aesthetics and the design and, and just see all the little, you know, those kind of interior and exterior features. Not so much be concerned with um, what it's saying below the photos. Like the leather interior looks really nice. Does is it all high end Napa leather? No, it's not that. But it's a leather interior and it looks really good. The fit and finish looks nice. That's what I'm looking at. Um, here's their info infotainment screen with a nice display. You've got hard buttons on the side to get to your places where you really need to go fast. Audio, phone, map, source. Right, source is what CD, MP3, right, radio. You know that kind of stuff. What is this? You can adjust the, the, the brightness, right? There's a moon with a, with a little, uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be there, and sun perhaps to adjust the brightness, your back button and your home button. you got a hard volume button, but yet it's also probably still a touch screen at the same time. Yeah, it's also a touch screen at the same time. On um, this particular display, they're showing uh, the hybrid features, showing a power flow monitor. Um, what else? Here's a nice shot of the Accord there. We kind of saw that picture, I think, already. Here they're talking about their fastback-inspired design, this very coupe design. You see German cars have been doing that for a while. Mercedes CLS, uh, uh, BMW 6 Series Grand Coupe. They've, they've been doing that for a while. Here they're showing their elegant LED uh, daytime running, or their LED full LED headlights. <laughs> uh, they look very nice. And here are the LED taillights. Here's a nice shot of the cab in the interior. Take note of the push button um, transmission, push button transmission, selectorized transmission. Here's a shot of the 1.5 liter VTEC engine. Here's a shot of the side underbody spoiler accessory. This is going to be right here. That looks nice. Look at these polished wheels. Surely an accessory. This looks like the sport right here. There. All right. There's a shot of those, uh, the push button ignition. I'm sorry, push button transmission. 19-inch uh, accessory uh, alloy wheels. Uh, option for a sport grill. Here's a nice shot of the 8-inch display, audio touchscreen, 10-speaker premium audio. That's another reason why I want to do the upgraded, um, the top-of-the-line touring. You know, it's got the adaptive suspension. It's got the heads-up display. I mean, you can spend seventy, eighty, a hundred thousand dollars $100,000 to get all those options on Lots of cars, and I would know. I've done hundreds of videos. I would know. Here they're showing the 60-40 split fold-down rear seats. All right, we'll speed up through this a little bit. Oh, there's a memory seating, two-person memory seating. Oops, there it is, two-person memory seating, right, 
with available 12-way power adjustable seats. Look at that. That says HUD. That's the heads-up display that you can obviously turn off and on. There's your uh, multi-angle rear-view camera showing some guidance lines. Integrated. They're here. They're talking about the exhaust finishers, right? The chrome exhaust finisher tips. Yep. All right, and that's just a movie. That's just a movie, and yeah, let's move on. Move on to let's see what colors are available for the 2019 exterior colors available for the 2019 uh, Honda Accord. Now, here's what's cool is we can see that it's showing it in platinum white pearl, and then down here it tells you what vehicles, what trim levels it's available on: LX, Hybrid, Sport, EX, EXL, and Touring. I think that's all of them, isn't it? And then you've got the lunar silver metallic. The modern steel metallic. You've got crystal black pearl, obsidian blue pearl, still night pearl. This one's only available on sport trims, as is this San Marino red. And then there's the radiant red metallic, seems to be available on all of them. And then there's the champagne frost pearl. This one doesn't seem to be available on the sport model. All right, let's move on. All right, let's learn about some exterior features of the 2019 Honda Accord. It looks to be styling, wheels, and accessories. A strong stance, it says. The bold exterior is a result of thoughtful engineering expressed through strong character lines, LED low beam headlights with auto on, off, and LED fog lights. So they're just giving us the, the features of the exterior. Styling, right? The front end is as innovative as it is distinct, leading the way with Bold style wherever you go, right? Intelligent design, a side of sophistication, right? Because it's got a fastback inspired, inspired design. Uh, then it talks about how the performance inspired exterior holds a wide stance with strong lines. And then a lasting impression. The LED taillights complement with complement the refined design while integrated chrome exhaust finishers accent the dual outlet exhaust for a true sport look next up they're going to tell us about the wheels so the lx comes with 17 inch alloy wheels the hybrid also comes with a different style of 17 inch alloy wheels right yep comes with a different style of 17 inch alloy wheels over the lx then the alloy i'm sorry then the ex and exl come with a different version of 17 inch wheel then we have the sport has its own unique 19-inch wheel now, as does the Touring. It has a 19-inch wheel, but it doesn't look as sporty. Then they offer this accessory wheel in 19-inch. So if, say, for instance, I don't really like the Touring wheel, which I don't. I, I do like the Sport wheel, but we're going to be building in price in a Touring. I don't really care for that wheel. So I think we're going to be looking at doing a wheel accessory. Now, I don't think I want to do the all-black version of this wheel, but look, we can do like this more, I don't know what they call it, satiny finish. I like that. So we might upgrade to this 19-inch black alloy wheel for our touring to get a different look that's more, I don't know, sporty and sophisticated, I guess I could call it. I can't think of anything else to call it. Here they're going to talk to us about some exterior accessories, right? This deck lid spoiler is an exterior accessory. The rear trim, give your Accord a personalized, subtle, and stylish trim with the rear trim accessory. I don't even know what they're talking about. Rim, rear trim where? Are they talking about down here, over here? They're not saying. Anyway, they have something. <laughs> then there's the front grill. That's all of this. Front grill accessory available in black chrome for an aggressive and sporty edge or chrome finish for an upscale addition to your Accord. Then they're going to mention what? The front fender emblems right here. And then the puddle lights. Puddle lights illuminate the ground beneath the doors to help you avoid surprises when exiting your 2019 Honda Accord. They don't really show the lighting very well, but the puddle lighting is going to illuminate right down in this space right there. So that's all the exterior features. All right, now we can move on to the interior features. Looks like there's four modules. The cabin, comfort, convenience, and accessories. It says the quiet cabin features high quality soft touch materials and an expansive front view for exciting for an exciting combination of elegance and convenience. Here they're just talking about the ergonomic design and the soft touch materials and the, and the quality trim 
and how you can get an available leather wrapped steering wheel, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and how they're awesome. You know, that's basically what they're telling us. Then what? Then here they're talking about their 7-inch full-color driver information interface, and it's a customizable digital in-dash display simplifying access to the information that we need. Here they're really just talking about those available leather trim, uh, trim seats, and we kind of already talked about them because they already showed us this exact photo in the gallery. So, yeah, there's the leather trim seats, the available, which means optional. You know what's hilarious is, obviously this is the design of the dress. When I looked at it just a second ago, I thought, oh, her dress is ripped, All right? <laughs> All right, quiet interior. The concert hall-inspired cabin allows for an uninterrupted view while active noise cancellation contributes to an incredibly quiet interior. Here they're talking about how the Honda Accord for driver and passengers has an impressive amount of rear headroom and legroom. They're making it look quite spacey, spacious back there, aren't they? Uh, front and rear heated seats, right, for an extra level of warmth. That's pretty cool. Heated and ventilated seating, right? The front seats are also ventilated as well. So they're all heated, and the front seats are also ventilated, right? There you go. 12-way power adjustable seats with two savable positions. And if we click this, it does what? Oh, yeah, and then they show us the two savable positions. There's dual zone automatic climate control, which keeps temperatures ideal, right? So for you and your passenger. So the passenger and the driver can have separate heating, right? We can see that. This guy's got, this person has theirs at 72 degrees. This person has theirs at 68 degrees. If they wanted to sync, then it would keep it, um, then it would keep it all even across the board. That's what the sync button does. Here they're talking about an EV mode. EV mode on hybrid models gives you the ability to operate exclusively on the batteries and electric motor in certain conditions. Let's see. Let's click this. What does it do? What did it do? Oh, it moves this little. Oh, and then there's shift by wire. Available shift by wire allows you to shift your way through the 10-speed automatic transmission. All right. Then there's what? There's storage. There's a center console, and it's versatile. So we can look at it, and then we can open it and see how versatile it is. There's 16.7 cubic feet of storage space. Whoops. There's 16.7 cubic feet of storage space. Hold on. You see? There it is. That's what I was trying to click. We got that figured out. Then there's what? The flexible seating, the 60-40 split seating. And if we click that, then they show us that, you know, you got the 60-40 split seating. And then here now they're showing us some interior accessories. There's some all-season mats. There's the illuminated door sills, right? That's these right here. Then you've got the trunk drawer, which is cool. And then you have cargo hooks. And so that's some interior accessories. They probably have more, but I guess those are probably maybe their most popular ones or something like that. All right, let's check out some next generation features. They've got what? Driving experience, technology, and connected audio. So let's find out what they're talking about. First up is the driving experience, and they're going to tell us about their thrilling powertrains. We already know there's a 1.5 liter, makes 192 horsepower, and then there's a 2 liter that I think made, what, what was it, 252 horsepower. And then the hybrid, they say, it's got a high-voltage battery, and it's covered by an 8-year limited warranty for peace of mind. I don't remember how many miles the warranty is uh, covered for. Then they're talking about the agility and control. How the Accord delivers safety and driver assistive technology standard with a serious uh, amount of fun. And that it's got a fuel efficient driving experience. They didn't really say much here. This looks to be about what paddle shifters, yeah. So all these cars, right, come with paddle shifters, I guess, unless you get, uh, let's see, add thrill with available paddle shifters. A standard six-speed manual transmission on sport trims or deceleration selectors on hybrid trims. Okay, gotcha. So... You've always got paddles. You've always got paddle shifters. And over here, they're talking about their adaptive suspension. And they don't really say much about it. An adaptive damper system actively controls suspension action, while wheel resonators help minimize road noise for a refined driving experience. What I do know is that this suspension only comes on the Touring. So if you want the best of what the Honda Accord is, and you have the $40,000 to spend, and you like the Accord, then get the Touring that comes loaded because that's what we're going to do. What else is there? What's this one? Keyless sophistication. Leave the key fob in your pocket with smart entry and push button start. Walk away auto lock saves you a step once you've arrived. 
All right, so we went through the driving experience. Now we're over here on technology, and they're talking about that heads-up display. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you've watched my channel, then you know I love heads-up display. But if you've watched my channel, you also know that I say that BMW is the best in the business when it comes to that. There's other manufacturers that make heads-up display, and they all do pretty well. This Honda Accord <laughs> heads-up display leaves a little bit to be desired. I'm glad it's there, and it, it's awesome. But it's resolution and all that. I mean, yeah, it's, it looks very first generation to me. That said, I'm still happy it's there. I'm still grateful for the heads up display. What do we got next? Uh, that power flow meter. We already kind of read about that and saw that at the gallery when we looked at the gallery way back at the beginning of this video. Okay, but here's the navigation the Honda Satellite Link navigation system features maps with 3D renderings and provides lane guidance and live search functionality what we got over here uh the multi-angle rearview camera we already kind of read about that this is another thing oh sorry not that here we go blind spot information we want to go forward not back with sensors in the rear bumper and warning icons and both side mirrors to alert you when vehicles are detected you can change lanes with added confidence so if there's somebody in your blind spot then that little icon is going to be lit up in the mirror and there's probably i'm surely of course one on the other side now, what's this? Automatic high beams. And then there's auto high beam headlights. Standard auto high beam headlights automatically dim when other vehicles are detected. And the LED low beams with auto on off further light the road ahead. Gotcha. All right. Now we're on to the other module called Connected Audio. And the first thing they want to tell us is about their premium audio system that's got the 8 inch touch, uh, 8 inch display audio touchscreen with the 10 speaker system. So that's, that's their top tier system right here. Then they go on to tell us about Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. They come standard on every model except for the base model, which is the LX. Then over here, they're going to tell us about the wireless phone charger. No need for adapters and cords. The available wireless phone charger provides a hassle-free charging zone that's easy to use with compatible phones. And then you can see the little USB port here and a power outlet, a 12-volt power outlet's there. And now they're talking about the Honda Link. Stay connected with the Honda Link app and lock or unlock your doors. See fuel status and more. All from your smartphone. All right. What else? Uh, mobile hotspot compatibility. Enjoy wireless streaming capabilities, including audio system updates by turning your Accord into a mobile hotspot. Okay. We got to learn about Honda Sensing. All right. This is standard. Every Accord comes standard with Honda Sensing an intelligent suite of safety and driver assistive technologies that can help you stay aware on the road. It can even help avoid a collision, right? Save your life. Now, it comes, these are the features. Collision mitigation braking system, road departure mitigation system, adaptive cruise control with low speed follow, lane keeping assist system, and traffic sign recognition. Now, we can see right up here, there's corresponding, corresponding acronyms that go with those. And so we're going to click through these five acronyms and quickly, we're not going to necessarily read all of it. So if, if I'm not reading all of about each one of these uh, safety features, then simply pause the video and you can read that little bit of information by pausing. That makes me wait for you. So we'll wait and then we'll move forward after that. Okay. I'll wait for you. Oh, look, as it works out, there's only one little sentence. Awesome. So the collision mitigation braking system, what it does is it helps brake the vehicle when it senses an otherwise unavoidable collision with a vehicle detected in front of it, all right, in front of you, in front of it. It's looking at the vehicle in front of it and paying attention and doing all the math and paying attention to what you're doing and all of that. So it can be ready, collision mitigation braking system. The road departure mitigation system, it has a small camera that can see road markers, alert you if you're about to leave the road, and even apply braking pressure to help keep you from doing so. Adaptive cruise control helps you maintain a set following interval on the highway so you don't have to manually change your speed. If your vehicle begins to stray from the center of a detected lane without signaling, when you have lane keep assist, the steering adjusts to help bring you back to the lane center. And every Honda Accord has lane keep assist because it's standard. Then there's traffic sign rec recognition, which uses a small camera to recognize and help notify you of speed limit signs with a visual icon. What's this about? Level up your style. Add the perfect finishing touches to your Accord with fashion-inspired accessories. Should we check that out? Yeah, we should. And here's what it said from the Learn More. 
So you can transform your accord. I can look at this white one in the background and see it's got some gold here and some gold on the wheels. So you got the sport grill, and then you can do a grill accent in these different colors, bronze, chrome, dark chrome. And you've got this rear accent that you can do in those same colors. Then they've got those 19-inch wheels that we looked at that come in two shades. And then there's the fender emblems. What are those? The fender emblems are like right here. That's fender emblems. It's on both of these vehicles have the fender emblems. Did you see that? All right, well, you know what? Here we are at the build and price part. We have gone through this whole thing. I can see, You can see that it's selected at, at the hybrid. We're not going to do the hybrid. Let me go ahead and select the, um, the two-liter turbo engine. It only comes with that two-liter turbo. That's the 252 horse, and I think it was 273 pound-feet of torque, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, 252 horse, 273 uh, torque. Comes with that 10-speed uh, automatic transmission that's controlled by electronic gear selector, single-scroll turbocharger. It makes its torque from 1,500 RPMs all the way up to 4,000 RPM. That's, that's, that's good. This car is going to feel real sporty. It's got a hill start assist. It's got direct fuel injection, eco assist. Uh, and for what it does, the touring. Let's see. I'm trying to look at the gas mileage here real fast. Okay, so it does... 22 mile, it gets 22 miles to a gallon in the city. It gets 20, uh, sorry, it gets 32 miles to a gallon on the highway. And its mixed fuel economy is 26 miles combined. That's for the sport and the touring. I'm looking at this one right here. All right, let's move on. All right, so we've got that engine. All right, we're sitting at $35,950. Now we need to do colors. And I don't know what color I like. I've, I, I have actually looked at this uh, before. This vehicle, and I before I liked the Champagne Frost, and so I think I'm just going to stick with the Champagne Frost. I'm not crazy about any of the colors, so based on the fact that I'm not crazy about any of the colors, I'm just going to do the Champagne Frost. Now, here's the deal. Here's what I know about Hondas. You know, certain colors are only available on certain trim levels, and that changes the interior. Now, watch this. If I if I choose a different um, if I choose a different uh, exterior color. Watch. If I choose, say, uh, how about a radiant red, for instance? Now, what interior colors do we have now? Oh, we still only have ivory? Or what about if I do a black? Because I really want a black interior. There we go. All right. Well, I guess we're going to do a black on black 2019 Honda Accord Touring 2-liter turbo with the 10-speed automatic. We're going to do the black on black so that way we can have black leather. That's what I was talking about. you got to play with the combinations so you get the leather that you want. They keep it simple. They, they keep it real simple over there. All right, so premium features. We already have the Honda Sensing, and we have the Honda Satellite Link Navigation System. So this thing has everything, so there's not going to be much to choose. Now, we can choose those upgraded alloy wheels. I liked... Oh, look at all these fun bronze wheels and everything. How about these 19-inch alloy wheels with chrome accent? How about those? Oh, they don't even show those wheels. All right, well, we're going to do those wheels. And then exterior accessories. Um, they, they, you could do show all. We're not going to do that. Well, I guess we'll do show all. Uh, let's go through these, these accessories real fast. I like the deck lid spoiler. And the body side molding, if we remember correctly, we're not adding that. That's that's ugly. We're not adding that body side molding. Never mind. All right, back back to where we were. All right, um, door edge guards, the visors, the moonroof visor, fender emblems in silver. Yeah, we're gonna do the fender. I will do our fender emblems in silver because we got those kind of silverish um, uh, wheel deals. And so we can see now we have those fender emblems that say Accord on them, and they're in silver. Let's do those puddle lights. Um, and then they have this the rear bumper applique and protector. What that is, is, you know, when you take packages out of your trunk, a lot of times people scuff them over the top of the bumper. And so over time, the bumper just looks horrible. And so these these appliques and protectors, they hope are going to, you know, help that. Now, we've got this rear trim in chrome. Let's see what that looks like. There's the rear trim. And I was right way back. I said, what's the trim? Where is it at? It's way back here. Now, we got a chrome theme going on because I got those upgraded wheels, which have some chrome. And then we got our fender trim, and that has chrome. Now we're going to do this rear trim. You see where I'm going? So we're going to have this black and chrome thing going on. 
All right, and then there's the splash guards, your mud flaps, so that way you, your car doesn't get as dirty. I definitely want that. There's the sport grill with black chrome accent. Hang on one second. What I wanted to do was check our wheels. I wanted to make sure that our wheels, I didn't, couldn't remember if our wheels said black chrome or just chrome, because they just say chrome. All right, I wanted to make sure I wasn't getting items that were black chrome. Okay, so we were here. See, there's, there's sport grill with black chrome, bronze, or just chrome. We're going to do just chrome. Gotcha. Then there's the underbody spoiler. What's that all about? Turn heads with accentuated aerodynamic styling created by the side underbody spoilers. They add a sporty, low-profile custom look that's going to get oohs and ahs. Then ooh, I want it. All right, add to the build. All right, that's 549. Then there's wheel locks in different colors. Uh, we'll just take ours just regular. How about that? We'll just take regular wheel locks. And then we'll move to interior accessories. And then we'll also click show all on our interior accessories so we can look at all of them. This will go by faster. I want the all-season floor mats. I want, ooh, look at this, the door panel protector. What's Look at that. Because you always end up kicking the bottom of the door with your foot, right? Or something. Or the door is falling in, so you put your foot out to hold it. and ends up getting scuffed. I don't know how I feel about the chrome, but it's still cool, though. It's still pretty cool. And so I want that. Add to the build. It's $149. we will add it to the build. Then there's what? A heated steering wheel? Yep. All over that. Surprise, it's not available on the Touring. I thought the Touring was supposed to have everything. Uh, and then there's the illuminated door sills. What does that look like? Right, there's our illuminated door sills that are lit up. And so a finishing touch that is subtle, tasteful, and definitely upscale. The illuminated, illuminated door sill trim dresses up the interior while helping protect the lower door sill from scuff marks. We want it for $290. All right. There's a trunk drawer, a trunk mat, a trunk tray. What's the trunk tray? Is that a looks like a rubber lining mat to me? Yeah, sure does. Molded plastic, rugged, durable, cleans easily with mild soap and water. I like it. We're going to get that. Okay, so we got that, and now we can move to electronic accessories. Is there anything we care about in here? Engine block heater? Mm hmm. Not on a Honda. Two and a half amp USB charging port? Eh, where does that go? Where, where are they putting that? Oh, that's out in the back, huh? That comes on the touring? Yeah, we can add that. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. What about this engine block heater? Uh, let's see. Nah, if you live or travel in areas experience free, nah, it's not that serious. It's just not that serious, son. All right, 41398 That's an expensive Honda Accord, but like I said at the beginning, yep, that's a $41,000 Honda Accord that's definitely fighting above its weight, easily competing with $65,000, $75,000 cars. And I already know it's true because I build and price hundreds of cars. I know it's true. My word is bond, I'm telling you. Let's move on to the summary. All right, so this 2019 Honda Accord Touring, I'm sorry, yeah, started life at $34,990, so $35,000. We've basically added $6,000 in change in accessories and upgrades to make this thing the sporty spice that it needs to be. Now, normally at this time, I tell people, hey, I will download the build summary um, and so that way, if you like the way I spec this vehicle, then you can grab the, the build summary in the description. But lately, a lot of manufacturers have been changing. doesn't look like I can download the build summary. So unfortunately, you'll just have to remember this by memory, or you'll have to watch this video over and over and over and over again <laughs> if you need to see all the specs. Other than that, I'm really done. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you're still here, thanks for joining me. You're awesome. Thank you for watching the whole video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to keep turning out great content and even better, new, unique content. So I'm going to wrap it up. You have a wonderful, wonderful day.